You're watching Explore Tulsa. When I was five years old, I came home from grade school one day and asked my mother, I said, Mom, I'm different, aren't I? I said, am I adopted? And she said, yes, Michelle, you're adopted, but we're not gonna tell anybody that because we chose you. You're very special, you were chosen. I was adopted by uh, my adoptive parents who raised me and my older brother and younger sister in Brainerd, Minnesota. And we had a delightful childhood. I mean, we were active, we, I was playing sports, I was um, won three presidential physical fitness awards by the time I was in the sixth grade. Oh, I was very competitive. And I was the only girl that got all three of them. So year after year, it was like being able to outdo the boys. Well, I mean, you know her competitive desire. It's, it's off, the, off the hook, you know? It's just, it's at a whole new level. I've watched her in the gym many times out leg press guys and cause them to leave the gym. I mean, it, it's funny to watch her competitive desire come up and she acts like it doesn't, uh, it's not there, but I've watched her stack those plates on there and kind of look out of the corner of her eyes and watch if, are they watching? So when we moved down here to Tulsa, Oklahoma, they didn't have anything like judo. And since I was a brown belt in judo, I went looking for anything I could find to get into in judo and I just couldn't find it here but I found the sport of Taekwondo. I climbed to the rank of black belt in about 11 months. I was a black belt and I was competing on the circuit here in, in Oklahoma and in Arkansas and in Texas. And I had first place trophy ever, first place trophy after first place trophy. And it just so happened that Taekwondo was gonna be a spectator sport in the Olympics in Barcelona, Spain. So I had my eyes set on uh, the Olympics in Barcelona. I, yes, I got up to being part of the team, but I suffered a traumatic injury to my left knee and was unable to continue to perform after that. This is a person who, who kicked something and, and tore every ligament available in her knee. So does she get surgery? No, she gets duct tape. And she goes and tapes it up and rehabs it herself and tries to come back and, and, and recover. Now, She's not had surgery to this day with that, and so it's, is it healed? I guess so, because she's able to leg press and do what she does. Right at the end of high school, I started to do massage therapy as a career, and I got my naturopathic medicine degree and just was, um, very interested in, in other things. And I remember studying one day at one of my clients' homes, and I was studying the anatomy while I was working, and she said to me one day, she said, you know, Michelle, she says, you are just far too curious and too smart to just do massage therapy for the rest of your life. She says, if you want to go back to school and think about what you would like to do, she says, I'll be glad to pay for your first semester. I went home and thought about that, it didn't take me very long and I came back and I said, I'm going to be a doctor. Well, when uh, I met Mark, it was really kind of love at first sight. We uh, just had a connection that, you know, they always say that when you meet the one you're going to marry, you're going to know. This is a person who was married to medicine, who had given up hope of quality relationship, you know, that this guy is never going to be there. And so she had a friend come to her and, they, and she, the friend said, Michelle, if, if you want something, you've got to really ask God to bring it into your life. Well, I probably contribute that to, to, her, to the way I was brought up. You know, some of the hardships that I went through and, you know, even watching my parents that weren't dealt the best deck of cards and the, the best hand at things. And, you know, my mother, she had such a strong faith. You know, even though she suffered physically in the last years of her life, she never stepped away from her faith. She um, prayed every day. She read that Bible every day until she was blind. And she never stepped away. And I um, just took that inside me and have that and continue to carry that torch with me today. And it just is part of me. And I want to pass that on.